First of all, it's the biggest, it's the biggest COVID for, for myself personally. There's an old and dear friend of Reb Chaim. And, and for us as a Kehila, as a Chavi here in Eish to be able to be the host tonight of this monumental launching of the new project of the Kutei Tfilis. Around three, four years ago, my wife and I had this chus to be in Yerushalayim for a few months. And it was a chilly winter night. The weather was a little bit like today. It was, it was right after we broke the fast of Asar Batavis. It was at Nelson's yard site. And at that time, There was a song that was written, was composed by a wonderful one of our chevra, Shlomo Gason, Dov Be'er Yumamish, changed my life. And it was just starting to go around. Dov Be'er Yumamish changed my life. It was just starting to go around. And I had such a cheshek to sing a little bit of that, I didn't even know I can't carry a tune, but I didn't even know the exact words, so I just started to sing, Rab Nassim, your mom has saved my life. I didn't say your mom has changed my life, and then the whole chevra there was, in the, in the, you know the shul, the breast of the shul, Shari Chesed, right? It's, it's one of those miraculous places in the world that like the Pesamikdash, that it's not possible that so many people can fit into such a small place. And so many hearts and souls can explode in such a tiny little place on Hashem's earth. And the whole island began to sing the wrong words. I've not seen your mom has saved my life. I only found out afterwards that the words of the song are you changed my life. But the truth of the matter is there have been us and your mom has saved my life. By changing my life, your mama saved my life and our lives. You saved our lives. From all of the, from all of the words of wonder, that great Sadiq of Nassim used to describe his Rabbi, Rabbi Nuzan, Rabbi Nachman, He said three simple words that to me are the most meaningful. He described Rabbi Nachman as Ish Chai Be'emes, a man who is truly alive. Ish Chai Be'emes. Now that person who is truly alive, Ish Chai Be'emes, he once spoke about himself in an unusual way. Of course, those who don't learn Lukutam Aran, people who haven't yet started learning, often misinterpret so much the couple of words they pick up, they hear on the street. Rabbi Nachman said, Chiddush Kamayni Adayin Lai A Chiddush Kamayni, a Chiddush something new, like myself, hasn't yet come to the world. A chiddush kamayni, a dainle, So what is the meaning? What, what did Rabbi Nassim mean to try to understand on our level? What did he mean when he said that Rabbi Nachman was ish chai be'emes? He was a man who was truly alive. We're all Hashem, alive, we should be well, and everybody should be well, but something in the What did he mean when he said to Rabbi Nachman, the greatest thing that I could say about the Rebbe, Ishchai Be'emes. He was a man who was truly alive. And what did Rabbi Nachman mean? Again, only our attempt to understand. We can't fathom the depths of his words. But what, what did Rabbi Nachman mean when he said, Chiddush Kamayi, Adayin Lohoi 
There was never a Chiddush like me in the world. So Rabbi Chaim mentioned there are many Torahs, many places in Lukut Amran. Rabbi Nachman speaks about his body, but the main headquarters is in Tinyan of Hafei. It's the main headquarters of his body. And there Rabbi Nachman revealed one of his greatest chidush, the chidush that we're here to talk about tonight. That it is good to take the Torah that we learn, as Rav Chaim was explaining, and to make it into tefillah, to davening. That when you learn in a sefer or your zeich to hear a Torah teaching from a tzaddik pe'emes, as a yasim is a tefillah, to make that into a tefillah, into davening, Dainu levakesh lezchane lefan of Yisbaruch to beg, to ask and to beg from Hashem. I'll call my Hashem Hashem b'Oisa Hamayma to be able to live in that way that is taught in the Maimer in that teaching of the Tzaddik. Masa Yisge Gamhu Lava Lekolze. Rabbi Nishal, when will I be zayche? Not only to study this, but to live this. And in that feel, of course, to admit how far I am from what's being taught in this Torah. Rabbi Nachman says over there in Chafei, this type of talk with Hashem, from all of the ways that we speak to Hashem, it descends to a very, very exalted and high place. And this is the Yisait, this is the project that Rabbi Nassim undertook, which he writes in the Hagdama. L'hafach is a terrorist l'tfilas. To take the terrorists from the tzaddik ha'emes and to make them into tfilas. And Rabbi Nossin himself, Rabbi Nossin himself davened for this. In l'kutei tfilas chelik beiz, chav beiz, v'siftach es enei sichli. Rabbi Nossin begs Hashem, and open my mind in a way that is true and that is simple and pure. That I should be zeichet to know this true way. How to take these tires to be Nachman taught us. And to make them into beautiful and true feelings. As you want, and as the true tzaddikim want. Who revealed great chidushim of terror in the world. This should bring to you the greatest delight. Until it awakens your compassion, your love in a true and complete way. And may these tefillahs bring me back to you in truth. Help me to truly understand what the tzaddikim meant, what they're trying to give over to us in these teachings, in this forum. So I should be zeichet to live a life of truth according to all of these terrors 
that are revealed in these teachings. So listen, Chavah. This Chiddush of Rabbi Nachman, of Tinyon HaChavhei, of Lekutei Tfilis, Chiddush Kamoiza, a dayin lohoi ba'olam. This Chiddush, a dayin lohoi ba'olam, until that time was not in the world. Maybe there were people on their own, tzaddikim, who intuited it. But Chiddush Kamoiza, a dayin lohoi ba'olam. This was a mahapeich. This was a revolution within the revolution of the light of the seven days of creation of the Holy Baal Shem Tov. Chiddush Kamaizah Dayan L'Hoya Ba'ala. This is the side of the Yichud of Mashiach Ben Yosef, Mashiach Ben David. Everybody here knows that the Inin of Rachel Yimeinu of Mashiach Ben Yosef is Torah, the beauty of Torah, Torah Shabal Peh, Torah Shabach Sav, is Mashiach Ben Yosef, Yifas Torah, Yifas Mara, Rachel Yimeinu. And the light of Lei Yimeinu, which is davening, Yehuda, David Malka, Mashiach, Pam Oydas Hashem, Mashiach, Ben David, the clay zayin of Mashiach, the weapon of Mashiach Tzakeinu, is davening, Mashiach Ben Yosef is, is Torah. What is this Mahapeicha? What is this Chiddush? Because if we understand a little bit about what this Chiddush that we're talking about tonight, the Lukut HaTfilis is, then we can understand something of what Rabbeinu meant when he said the words Chiddush Kamayni a Chiddush like myself a dying Lahaya Ba'ala what is this Chiddush? very very simply put it's what we were talking about here on Shul on Shabbos afternoon what I've been talking about over the past few months in an open way and for the past 29 years in a more discreet way Well, the Kutay Tfilis means, and this Chiddush of Rabbi Nachman, that Rabbi Nassim revealed to us through the Kutay Tfilis in a practical way, it's telling us that it's not enough to understand Torah. It's not enough to be brilliant, to be able to be a Lamdin, to be able to be a Goyen, even after the Goyenim. It's not enough. And it's not even enough to observe the Torah, to be Makayim, all the mistress of the Torah. It's not enough. Rabbi Nachman wanted us He wanted us to take Achrayis for the Torah that we learn. Because everybody here knows that you can learn the most beautiful Torahs in the world, just like we're going to have beautiful talks tonight, and you're going to hear all kinds of wonderful things. And you can leave the Besai Medrash. And the second you leave the Besai Medrash, it was an entertaining evening. La Havda, like you can go to a show, you can go to a Broadway play. And it's another nice thing that you heard. It's another nice word that you, that you saw. You can open up a Kedusha Slave in Amelimelech. You can open up Lukutai Lochis. You can open up an Efshachai, whatever the Sefer is. A Gemara, a Rashi, a Toysvist. And you leave and you walk away. Nothing changed in your life. Nothing happened. So Ibn Achman came and said, I want you to change the Torahs and make them into tefillahs. Which means, I want the Torah that you're learning to awaken within you a deep, a deep longing for that truth. A hishtagikus kisufim and gagoim to live a life that is true. And that truth is in the Torah that Hashem brought to you, this moment of your life, that you were zeichet to learn this Torah. When you daven for something, it's because you believe in it. When you daven for something, you take responsibility, you take achrayas. When you just learn something and it's another sikhlias that passes through your head. It's the same way, you know, you can cram for a final. Now there's finals going on everywhere. It's finals time. You could cram for a final. 
And you could stay up the whole night and you have the next day, you have a physics final, you have an organic chemistry final, you have a history final, and you could cram and you could, under, and you could study everything and you can go to the final, you get an A plus in the final. It's my goodness. It meant nothing to you. The next day, it's gone. And even if you have a good memory, it's no longer alive. It was never really alive. It was just some information. Rabbi Nachim came along and said, in order for you to take a chrayis for the Torah that you're learning, to take responsibility for your lives, the Baruch Shalom has enough geniuses in the world. He doesn't need people who are cold geniuses. He doesn't need people who know how to study and cram. Gemara, Rashi, Toysavis, Rambam, Ramban, and even Lukut Emaran and Kedusha Slave. He doesn't need just people who study and cram and memorize and walk away from a safe and close it and remain lifeless and dead Jews. Rabbi Menachem was an Ishchai Be'emes. He was truly a live man, a man who was truly alive. And to be truly alive means that when you learn a Torah, whether it's a Gemara or it's from the Svar Magadayshim, when you open up and you learn a Torah, it means that at that moment, the Tan is speaking to you. And the only way you could take responsibility for that truth that Abai and Rav are telling you, that Rabbi Yerkhan Reish are telling you, the only way you could take responsibility and take ownership is by believing in the truth of that Torah. And when you believe in the truth, the truth of that Torah, the same way you believe in your kid, and when your kid's not feeling well, you cry your heart out and you daven for him. Because you take a cry is for the life of your child, and for your wife, and for your parents, and for every Jew in the world. We're crying for our brothers and sisters in Israel. Last week, two weeks ago, we're crying because we feel an achrai is for them. We believe in them. They're alive to us. They're not concepts. Terror is not a concept. It's our lives. And therefore, nobody else, there's no other, no other tzaddik that wanted to have tefillahs from his Torahs. Where else do we find Lukute Eitzis? What does it mean, Lukute Eitzis? Advice. Because Rabbi Nachman is Ishchai Be'emes, and Chiddush Kamayu Lahoya Ba'olam, a day in Lahoya Ba'olam, where the Torah is something which is a Halebedic Torah. And an Eitzim means you can do this, and I'm going to show you how you can do this. Or else you can be a Chamer Nice Svarim. You know what that means? Like a donkey walks around carrying on its back a thousand Svarim. You could also walk around with a computer and you could quote anything, and you could Google and you could write all kinds. You could have your own website on all kinds of fancy terms, and it doesn't change ki who's there in your life, and I can lose you, and no one else's lives either. They're just going to look you up on their computer the way you look somebody else on your computer. But an Ishchai Be'emes, one who is truly alive, takes the Torah and makes it into a tefillah. And you cry your heart out because you believe in the truth of this Torah. And when you believe in the truth of it, like you believe in the truth of your wife, of your kid, your parents, of that Jew that's in a foxhole someplace in, in Eretz Israel, wherever it is in the world. You believe in, he's alive, and you want him to live. You daven. And the atheist of how to make this lemaisa, how to live be'emes, how to live this Torah. To be nishchai be'emes. That's Aleph and Bez. One of the difficulties that, that the Chavah have, we're talking about this in his Baidus Chaburah, one of the difficulties that the Chavah have with his Baidus is that you talk, you talk, you talk, you, you have a... You have an unbelievable outpouring, Heshtabchus and Nefesh, and you want to hear up with something from the Baron Shalom too. You love Hashem, you're sharing the, your deepest secrets with Him, and you want to hear what He has to say also. It's normal, it's to be expected. It's a conversation, it's a dialogue. You want to hear back from Him. And this is one of the great difficulties that many people have, especially when they're beginning to travel, to go on that journey of his bite of this. 
And of course the truth is that Hashem speaks to us mm -hmm. every moment of our lives through all the eventualities of life. As Rabbi Sodak Akkoyin Shushal and all the tzaddikim explain the whole need of a baskal, it's not just by big tzaddikim. It means that you and I can hear from everything that happens in life. Why did this happen to me? What am I going through? We could hear Hashem Baruch speaking. Mm -hmm. But when you change the Torah that you learn into davening, slowly but surely you begin to understand the sprach, the language of the Creator. Because the language of Hashem is Baruch is Torah. And if Hashem is Baruch wanted you to davka learn that Rashi and Yuma today, or if He wanted you to learn that Kedush Levi this Friday night, or this Noemi Lemelech, or this Lakuta Halachis, if you wanted to learn this Gra and Mishlei, this Mikhtar Melio, whatever it is, this Pasik in Navi, if the Baruch Shalom brought that to your world, this moment in your life, it means the Baruch Shalom is talking to you through that Torah that you're learning. But if you close it and you walk away, you'll never know. But when you change that Torah into Tefillah, over time, it's an amazing, amazing thing. Over time, you begin to understand the Baruch Shalom's language. The Torah is not some academic, cold dissertation of the master of the world. The Torah is the Baruch Shalom speaking to you through the Torah that he revealed to you at that moment in your life. But if you don't daven for it, you'll never ever necessarily feel that, you'll never know it. But when you start to daven for that Torah, you daven, you daven, achrayas. Emuna, that this Torah is my Torah. The Baruch Shalom sent me this Gemara today. The Baruch Shalom sent me this Rambam right now. The Baruch Shalom sent me this beautiful Sforna, this Ramban. The Baruch Shalom sent it to me right now. And then you change it into a tefillah to be able to connect to this and to live this way, to be chai the emes in this Torah. Then you know what happens? And when you dive in that way, you begin to, you begin to hear Hashem speaking to you through the Torahs that you're learning. That when, when you start to open up, not afterwards, when you open up the safe, you start to learn, you hear the Baruch Shalom whispering into your Yankula, listen to me. I want to share this with you right now. I know what you're going through. I know what you're going through. I know what's hurting you. Look deeply into this Ramban. I'm talking to you in this Ramban. Listen, listen to this Ramban. I'm talking to you right now. That's what it means to be Chai Bamas. Listen to this a few words from the Tefillah. Nun Vav. Listen. We finish in two minutes. Listen carefully. I have been listening. Al Rachmel Haram Cheshav Tim Rachek Lahayti Vach Bishayin. This is Rabbi Shlomo. Rabbi Nassim says Rabbi Shlomo. You have such unbelievable insights of how to. Think about us, how you show us that you're thinking about us, mirachaik. Because you, you care about us, you love us, and you want it to be good for us. If you have and you promised us that by our learning your holy Torah, we'll be able to find you at any times in our lives. Even now, at the end of days. They were living through the Hastar Shabbosayich Hastar, Kamei Shekosiv Anich Hastar. Once I shira zayis, Kilois Shachar Kach Mikpi Zaro, I can't boast of the Hashem Lo Kairi Lo Kavasai. Shev Nosen Davind, if I come to you, Hashem Lo Kairi Lo Kavasai, Molei Rachem and Molei Chaninis, Toiv Umeitiv La Kol Hamrachem Ola Brios, Asher Rachem Merchal Kol Maasecha, She Dizakeni Brachem Merchal Ram Lasik Besoros Hakadosh Lishmot Tamid Yom Velayla B'Dushim Tavar Gedol. Rabbi Shlom, help me to have the chutz to learn your Torah in purity. That through what? Through learning your Torah, this Torah that I'm learning right now, to reveal you, even though you are so hidden, to reveal you. To find your elokus, your presence in my life, always. Nothing should be able to hide your locus. Because 
We see in the Koch, Likreis, Oisra, Chaya, Chayim, Aidea, Torah, Kedosh, Ashish, Mecha. The Rabbani Shalom, help me that I should be able to know that you are a Rabbani Shalom that's not a God that died years ago on some page in an old book. You are Chaya, Chayim. You are the life of my life. You are a Lebedika God, a living God who's speaking to me at this moment in my life. There are stories since Sipurim Isis, I haven't seen anything like this. And here in Eskredish, I've shared some of them, some of you have already, I know some of you have printed these up. The, the great Tzadik from Yishalayim, who was a big Talmud of, of Rabbi Nachman, Rabbi Shefroin, Zechit Tzadik Vakash Levrocha. So there are three lists that I thought they were all Rabbashes, and I found out later on, one of the Talmudim from, of his sent word to me that, that that these are, these are stories that were told by a Talmud of Rabasha based on Rabasha's teachings. And some of them apparently are Rabasha's stories. Each one is a few sentences. And since Rabbi Nachman, we don't have such stories, it seems to me. There were stories that happened with Sadiqim, but that a Tzadik told stories, and he was Malbish, he was Malbish, the deepest secrets of the world in interesting little fictitious stories. We have here in the 68 Maisias from Rabasha Freund's Talmud, Rabasha's Bishamedr. So listen to the words, and with this I'll, I'll, I'll finish. I'm going to a I'm, I'm going to leave. I hope I'll be able to get a tape from the, from the rest of the Chaveirim. Listen to this. It's called Maisa Be'echot Shenekra Tzipa Navshay. It's a maise of a Jew who lost that which was dearest to him in life. Who hasn't felt that? By a And this Yid who lost that which was dearest to him in his life was dragging around, was walking around miserable. And he said, you know what? I want to end my life. Because my death is better than being alive. I want to die. But then he was worried. He was scared. What's going to be with me if I die? I don't know what's going to be with me in the next world. So he figured for the meantime, I'll delay that. I'm not going to kill myself. So then he said to himself, since all this misery that has befallen me, that that which is most dear to me is gone. Where did that come from? It came from Shemaim. Hashem did that to me. He's the one that did this to me. I'm going to take rocks. I'm going to throw them at Hashem. I'm angry. I'm going to throw rocks at Hashem. And he threw Avonim. Of course, it's a marshal. He was angry. There are many things that Jews do when they're angry at Hashem. Or that they don't do. But it became even darker in his life because, because how, do you, how could you do that? You can't live without the Baruch Shalom. It became even worse. So he couldn't, commit, he couldn't kill himself. There was no tachlis and throwing stones at God. But I lost that which was dearest to me. So how am I going to be mechayim myself? How am I going to revive myself and bring myself back to life? Everything is from you. And that what I'm going through right now is also from you. And certainly everything is for my best. I believe everything is for my best, but how do I go on living like this? How should I be mechayim myself? Show me a sign that I should be able to go on living. And this was the answer that he received. Hashem spoke to him. That which you think that you lost what was dearest to you in your life, which was most precious to you in your life. Other Abba. That which was dearest to you and most precious has returned to you, has come back to you. You have it again. 
O Mashi heap suwa bekoevis, and that wound and pain that you feel, tasim is at feelings. Make your pain into davening. Change your life and all that you're going through and make into a tefillah, into tefillahs. For halach v'espal al harbe, he went and he davened. V'ni etzloi hamar mimovas mosik midvash, and that which was more bitter than death became sweeter than honey. That doesn't mean that the Bereshit gave him back what was taken from him. Because what was most precious and what is most precious to every single one of us here. And the moment that he understood that through davening and by changing his pain, his challenges, his difficulties, his tires, the tire of his life, into Lakutai Tfilis, then Chazer, Tsipa Anafish, Anafish, then that which is most important to him in life returned. Because when you have that relationship with Hashem as Baruch, and Hashem is alive inside of your mind, inside of your heart, then there's nothing that's sweeter than that. Mosik Midvash. So I want to give a bracha. That all of the amazing projects that Rab Chaim has started, he's Mazoicha, Gamati Vagmar, to finish. And this project of the new edition, Bez Hashem, of Lakutet Tfilis, translated and so on, it should be finished in Hashem in good health. And to continue on with, together with Reb Tzvi and the whole family and all of the Chavra. To continue to bring the delight of Ishchai Be'emes to our lives. Lahach Yosis Asmeinu. So that we greet on that day that we're going to be able to come and to greet David Melsa Chai Vikayim. That we're going to greet him as Jews who are alive with that Emunu, who are alive with the Tfilus of Lebedic Eden, to greet Lebedic Mashiach. Who sent by the Lebedic God, we should be Zoyach the Seed, Mehemi, 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 M